Welcome to another video on Project Reality. I'm determined to get into this game and have a, a real good game with it. So, um, luckily I found a game that had 50 versus 50 on this map and I thought it doesn't look that big. Um, of course, what an idiot, all these maps in this game are big. Um, and we're going to be playing as the MEC. So the first thing we're going to do when we come in is join a squad, but you have to wait for that timer on screen. I presume that is to enable everybody to get in and for the server to settle down so it can be quite a long time but as you can see it's 49 versus 49 so there's lots in here and luckily for me I found a squad where there was actually a squad leader so he was telling us what to do and okay, where to go. Okay jump to the cheap, jump to the cheap get to the cheap what I have found is, is that if you actually stick with your squad oh, it's brilliant it's it feels it's quite realistic actually when a few of your squad mates die and you get split up, it just seems to be as a new player for me. I, I just haven't got a clue where the fuck I'm going or what I'm doing or anything. So this may be because I'm quite new to the game and I'm sure you'll pick it up and say what a fucking noob, he doesn't know what he's doing. Well no I don't, this is only about my third or fourth game. But uh, yeah, let's, let's crack on a little bit. Okay, so this is the first objective he's asked us to uh, either capture or defend. And first things first, we jump out of the jeep. I'm thinking, uh, right, here, I uh, don't know where I'm going, house. what am I doing, where are the enemy coming from. Uh, maybe these are things that uh, I will pick up the more I play it. And um, I even ask a dumb question in a minute, what do the enemy look like? Now you might think that sounds ridiculous, <laughs> but I actually don't know what the enemy looks like. Are they in blue? Do they look like us? Because on some of the other uh, games I've done, they've got a tan colour as well and they only look slightly different with the weapons. So IDing your enemy is quite difficult. So I'm just going to follow what he says and get up on this roof. And all of a sudden the second mortars come in, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, take cover, take cover. As I mentioned in my other video, there are a lot, and I mean a serious amount of vehicles and everything in this game, although I never really get to see any. Uh, I've seen a couple of uh, like Black Hawk or helicopters flying around, a few APCs, but nothing. I know there's tanks and Abrams and all sorts in here. Never really get to see them, whether it's restricted per uh, that type of map or certain levels. I'm, I'm really not sure, so if anybody can tell me that as well. So he's asked us to move on to the next location, as you can see at the top right. We're moving away to the uh, south from District Hill, he's moved it again. And it puts that little icon on the map at the bottom. Okay. So here we are at our next location. And I'm just going to follow these guys and see what the hell they do and what they point out or even where they go. Well, our teammate is coming with a uh, with a fixed. Bars. Again, no idea whether I should have opened up on that until I saw the little green icon above his head, which means it's a squad mate. What I do oh, love about the game is, is that slow-paced feel okay, to it. You actually want to survive and you want to get in a firefight, which is quite strange in other games. Um, as you can see, everything's slow and quite tactical with these guys. They're planning it with the commanders and the higher up, planning on where and what to go. And uh, grunt is not quite the word, as I haven't really got a clue what we're doing or where we're going. But I do like the view distances and just the fear of knowing that you could be killed almost instantly by a 50 cal or uh, even a, a, a semi auto weapon that just took a lot of us out within a couple of seconds. So we're going to get down here, and as we get across to the other side of the river, Another noob thing happens, uh, which, yeah, basically I get taken out by an uh, by an APC, and I had no idea whether that was friendly, enemy, or anything. What a fucking noob! As you can see, we're now about to cross the river here, and as we get to the other side, it's when I get taken out. So before I get there, you'll notice there's some yellow smoke up the top. I don't know whether that's a warning sign, whether that's for. Uh, uh, location for the helicopters to drop supplies in or again no idea so anybody can tell me what yellow smoke means in here if it's only for the commander or so forth so forth let me know go 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 the wall And I 
we need. Uh, so I'm quite lucky to survive bits. that. And I, I don't know why the, the APC stopped firing. Did it get taken out? I didn't see an explosion or anything. No idea what actually happened I'm there. Good. And now it's waiting for a new player um, who's not played as the medic or so to patch us all up. Okay, spawn up and there, uh, it really does have that sense of sticking together and team play much, much more, guys, take believe it or not, than armor. Um, but again, this game's free. Just download it and try it, and you're probably going to get completely we'll lost and confused like I have, and still am, to be honest with you. But it has got a really individual feel to it, and uh, the more I play it, the more I enjoy it. Yeah, I'm still completely, what the fuck, where am I going, what am I doing, blah, blah, blah. But it's slowly, slowly starting to come together. And there's a little section I'm going to cut in a minute where you'll see running through the streets too. Of us. It's got that sort of vibe of um, Black Hawk Down when the two guys are left behind running through the streets. It has got that kind of vibe to it. Anyway, this has been Para. This has been Project Reality 1.3, I think it is the new one, which is free to download. Get on, try it, get in a squad with your mates, I think you'll enjoy it a lot more when you can talk and communicate with each other. Obviously I didn't have my mic on during this, so difficult to talk to my squad mates, etc, etc. Uh, and see if you can get your head around what's actually going on, it actually feels like a real battle, a real war. Which is something that armor doesn't really have on a lot of occasions. Uh, with the AI and the physics and everything else being shit because of biz, I just wank. Anyway, thanks for watching, I shall see you in some future videos coming real soon. I'll see you on the battlefield. Bye-bye.